super easy one. How's your elbow? I saw that you fell and were grabbing it and stuff. It's fine. Uh, kind of been banged up for a while, um, laying on the floor kind of hard, but it doesn't affect my performance or shot or anything like that. It's just, just swollen, but I'll be all right. Heard y'all were quiet brunch today. Not a lot of questions. If you don't got any, I don't have to answer them. Steph over here. Talk about the energy that JaVale came out with to start the game off. Just his defense on LaMarcus and on the offensive end. Uh, he was ready tonight. Knew he had an opportunity, obviously, to impact the game, you know, from that starting lineup. And him putting pressure on the rim for us with the shooters that we have around is, is – uh, it's a great weapon, and he he understands you know his importance when he's out there on the floor. And like you said, defensively he was smart uh, on Lamarcus, just trying to make him make him work, you know, challenge shots, protect the rim, um, and he gave us a great boost and great energy. And we got a lot of easy baskets through him to start the game, and was able to get a rhythm. Hi, Steph Archbell with uh, Diario Marca of Spain. Uh, Kevin was in here just talking about uh, talking about Manu Ginobili acting like he was playing like he was 20 years old out there on the court tonight doing what he did. Uh, what's it been like for you in your career playing against a guy like like Manu? He's fun to watch, not fun to guard for sure. Uh, he he always has some you know creative you know button he can press just to try something out and. Seems like he never ages. It's um, it's pretty pretty special to watch. Um, you know, even like what 2013 playoffs, him hitting big shots um, against us. Seen seen a lot of him and a lot of great things. So he's been obviously great for the game of basketball, great for the NBA, great for the Spurs organization. Um, and him continue to play like he is with the energy he has and the spring he has is, is crazy. I want to know where that fountain of youth is. Let's see if I can get a hold of that for the rest of my career. Steph, this was a series a lot of folks were looking forward to. The playoffs began, and you guys are up 3-0. Uh, what's your level of surprise to be up uh, with a chance to sweep the Spurs, despite what's going on with Kawhi? Not surprised. I mean, that's our goal is to win every game we play. Uh, and obviously, sometimes it doesn't happen like that, but you know, we've um, you know answered a lot of challenges throughout the course of the, the the playoffs. You know, all and learned a lot of lessons. Obviously, all through winning, but against the Spurs, they challenge you no matter who's out there, and and you got to play well to beat them. Uh, in case like tonight, obviously on the road, knew they were going to come out with a, with a huge fight and. We didn't play our best, but we, you know, had enough timely runs, um, you know, to to keep momentum and keep a hold of the of the game. So, you know, we obviously know Game Four is going to be even tougher um, with the chance to close it out, and uh, you know they're going to go down swinging. So we have to we have to really come in focused and with a lot of energy uh, to get it done on Monday. Chris Haynes, ESPN staff. What what do you um when do you guys start? Obviously, everybody's feeling like you guys are on a collision course to, to meet. But a good team focuses on what's in front of them. And it doesn't matter really what they're doing um, until you know, we close this thing out. So. I'm obviously gonna be watching the game tomorrow. I'm a fan of basketball, and uh, you'll you know understand what goes on in that series. But it doesn't matter until we get that fourth win in this one. Cliche answer, but it's the truth. Marcus Thompson, Barry News Group. Hey Steph, what is it like watching um, Kevin Durant when he goes on his runs? I know you watch Clay do it, but w what's his style like? It seems a little smoother, maybe kind of different as you're watching this. What's it, what's it look like? Yeah, it's very smooth. Uh, he can do it a lot of different ways. The, the run he had in the third it was a, a clinic of, of scoring the basketball. He, he got in the paint, finished around the rim, um, you know, hit a tough fadeaway, you know, one footer. Was in pick and roll situations a lot, being able to uh, to play make and create his own shot. Um, and he he he, you know, really answered the bell in that moment for us. 
Um, and then at that point, it's just, you know, like anybody who gets the hot hand, just give him the ball, get out the way, and uh, and let him do what he does. And his versatility demands a lot of attention. Um, and it is fun to watch him, you know, get hot like that from three-point line all the way, you know, to the basket, and you just never know, you know, how he's going to do it. Steph, Tim, Tim Kawakami, Mercury News. Uh, Mike Brown's been bragging about your defense. Uh, do you feel like you, you've picked up your level of defense? Did you focus on that maybe in the last round or two? Do you think you're playing your, some of your best defense right now? Um, Coach Ron Adams challenged me going into the playoffs um, to really focus on just energy um, and the little things that I can do to impact the game on that end. You know, just staying in front of my guy, playing great you know, defense off the ball so I can be in the right spots to help. Um, other than tonight, did a pretty good job of not fouling um, so I can stay on the court. And usually when I, you know, have a huge presence on that floor, end of the floor, good things happen on the opposite end because I can, I can help rebound, I can push and transition off of steals or whatever the case may be and put pressure on, on you know, that transition defense. And so, uh, yeah, it's a focus and this has to keep getting better, um, trying to do little things as we uh, try to realize a goal. And also on those fouls, uh, you were waving him off when you picked up your third. Uh, were you worried there that you were coming out? Uh, do you think you had to convince him to stay in there? Uh, he's kind of been my go-to guy whenever I wanted to um, stay on the floor in certain situations with Coach Curl when he was coaching. Sometimes I didn't win that argument. Uh, most of the time I didn't win that argument. But uh, tonight he he gave me a chance and uh, – I don't know how long I played with three fouls in the second quarter, but just tried to, uh, you know, just keep my hands out the cookie jar and stay stay solid, and uh, it worked out. So um, hopefully I don't have to test that anymore. With uh, your hands behind your back, I saw that one time. Was that? I was just showing showing him I'm, I'm I know I got three fouls and I want to I won't do anything stupid. Steph Jabari Young, San Antonio Express News. You guys have been here before all postseason, up 3-0. What's the mindset now going into Monday, knowing that you know they're going to show some fight too? It really um, puts an emphasis on that starting unit. How we start the game, you know, game four is, is going to be huge. Um, you have an opportunity to continue to set the tone early. Try to take any momentum that you know the Spurs are going to have in Game Four because they know it's going. They're going to come out, you know, with a lot of energy and trying to rely on the home crowd. So if we can handle those first six, eight minutes and try to get a lead and um, you know build some momentum on our side, it should be a good situation for us. And you know, for the most part, against the Portland, against Utah, we were able to do that in Game Four or Game Fours and and really uh, you know set the tone early and so we have an opportunity to do that in game four and try to make it as easy on ourselves to to you know play a good 48 minute game Steph, when uh when you added kevin durant it became such an embarrassment of riches in some ways you almost feel sorry for teams trying to defend so many weapons like y'all have no nah, not in those terms but i mean it is it's fun to watch when we're on the floor when things are clicking because you you know there are obviously so many weapons and when we do, when we keep it simple. That's when we're at our best. As crazy as it sounds, it's just you know trying to make the the, the right pass, knowing that everybody is a threat on the floor. Um, and when the ball's hopping and guys are you know putting the right position to make plays, you know good things happen. So um, that's that's our that's our challenge as we've gone through the regular season and the playoffs is try not to do too much because when we keep it simple. Like I said, we were at our best, and uh, we can put a lot of pressure on defenses to try to guard us.